Do you think, how much has this caused you to think about the modern light environment? So, you know, just from first principles mm. and you think about it from an evolutionary perspective, clearly our light environment that we're inside of today um, is very, very different from the one our ancestors and pretty much all organisms evolved in. And mm. so the extent to which a lot of the stuff we've talked about is true to any degree would imply that the change in the light environment itself is probably having potentially sizable effects on our health and our, our biology and how it's all working together um, at a high level. You know, how do you think about what the modern light environment is doing to people? I think about this all the time. <laughs> I think about this all the time because I think about even just about 150 years ago, 100 years ago, 50 years ago, our, our parents and grandparents in terms of being around natural light, candlelight, the intensity, the warmness of glow. I mean, you can go down to your your neighborhood construction source and a store, and you can find cool light versus warm light. So we have this this population of people who are in different colors of light, intensities of light. Um, I think about this all the time because I wonder what it does to behavior. If we scale it up from molecular all the way up to behavior. I, I wonder what it does. And I, I don't have an answer in terms of what it could do, um, what it means for us, but this is a, a really cool thing to think about and to investigate perhaps um, in the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm.